Hello, everybody. A lot of people uh, are today joining with us for this uh, webinar uh, about uh, surveying modules. So I'm David Vincent from Applitap, and today uh, will be with me for the demonstration my colleague Antonio Pardo, which is a surveying engineer, a geodetic and surveying engineer, which will make uh, the live demonstration of the uh, surveying modules. And uh, please note that this webinar is recorded and you can find it into the video library on our web page. You have also the possibility to do all your questions uh, on the command and the live demonstration if you need some complementary information. My uh, general manager, which is also with us uh, today, will try to reply to all your questions in the, in, the, in the same time. And if uh, we don't have the specific reply to your need, we will send you a personalized uh, email. Okay. Let's start uh, everything. Uh, let's start uh, this webinar. So, uh, for those who doesn't know who we are, uh, Applitap is a Spanish company based in the south of Spain in Malaga, and we are a company specialized in the development of application for surveying and civil engineering. We have got a great expansion around the world with more or less a little bit less than 80,000 users licensed worldwide, and we work exclusively through uh, uh, previously selected uh, distributors. The success is because, uh, as you will see, our software are very easy to use, but also they are a really competitive price, which uh, uh, give a really great investment because uh, due to the productivity of the software, making the, your needs and your results uh, is, has given us a great success. Uh, one of the other points that I told you uh, uh, is we have always distributors who are able to give a first local support, but also we have a great after sales department which can help you in the eventually uh, uh, specific needs for your market or your detection of uh, some uh, uh, installation or this kind of things. We offer different kind of training from basic to advanced and we have a channel, YouTube channel, where you can put subtitle in English or in different uh, languages to perform better knowledge on our software. Our quality is about, uh, uh, we have different agreements which uh, uh, in, say that we have good quality like ISO 9001 or innovative SMEs. We have uh, different. We work so much for public and private uh, project, and about public project, we have relevant projects like Roadbeam, Autobeam, or Pandora that I invite you to discover into our webpage. Some universities and association uh, at international level, we work with the Land XML, which is a generic format of exchange between a lot of uh, software and instrument. Applitap is very involved into the uh, building smart and we are uh, certainly a pioneer uh, in surveying field about uh, sporting uh, superfaces or axes in IFC formats. What's about our software? Uh, what are they able to do? So we can manage different projects of urbanization, roads, quarries, we have tunnels and power and several projects of surveying. One thing that it is really important is uh, our development partner is so much on Android, Apple, S3, Intel, and Microsoft, which when we need a CAD, and in the case, it is the case for today, uh, when we need a CAD, we work so much on AutoCAD, on BrillsCAD, and on ZiviSoft, on ZiviCAD. Uh, we have brand agreements. This company let us their last instrument in order we make it compatible with their uh, instruments and able to use directly their own format or in order to don't pass, for example, by Land XML or other generic format. 
Applitop is for family software, surveying project that we will see today, one module specifically, tunnel project, field uh, for the field works with your GNSS, so much on Windows and Android, and photogrammetry. Applitop uh, actually is working on new point clouds management software, augment reality, drone and beam for infrastructure. Our uh, national reference are the, the biggest contract, Spanish contractors that are working around the world, like SASI or ACCIONA. We have also great uh, implementation in different universities. <coughs> Some international reference, we have a lot of uh, great projects, like the biggest highway from the east part uh, of uh, the American continent which will cross all the United, all the America from south to north on the east part. <coughs> With projects in Canada, Ecuador, Peru, actually we are working in Colombia and Panama. Uh, the underground of New York or the big project of uh, uh, Riyadh with a project of underground and a part of uh, road and this kind of things. So really relevant projects that can uh, give credentiality to our software. Okay, just give me one second. Okay. Uh, so before to let uh, hands uh, to my colleague, uh, to my colleague uh, Antonio. Okay. I would like to make you a quick uh, resume about uh, TCP MDT. TCP, TCP MDT has two versions: a professional version and a standard version. On each one, on the standard or so much on the professional, you can add the image module, the surveying module, or the point cloud module. So you can install point cloud on standard or on professional. The module of surveying in yellow uh, that we will see today can be installed so much on the standard than the professional. What are the main features of each version and each modules? The standard version is to work with, point, with uh, point management, making your DTM, uh, contour lines, and uh, to get your profile and cross section. When we, are, we want something more sophisticated in order to prepare S-Works or design a, a road project, you need the professional versions. The surveying modules is to process a total station measurement, make transverse and networks, coordinate transformation and geodetic calculator. You will have all the demonstration today. The image module is to work with orthophoto or download from web map services pictures with location in order to apply into your DTM and get a real uh, 3D uh, 3D uh, reports. Uh, point clouds uh, is to work with laser scanner or LIDAR and to manage your point cloud into a CAD, which is a great issue. The system requirement for MDT is uh, from Windows up to 10 uh, and CAD compatible, as I told you before, is already available on AutoCAD 21, okay, in 32 and 64 bits with BRISCAD V20 and ZVCAD also V20. And thank you for your time. Now I will let hands to my colleague uh, Antonio. Antonio. Hello, David. Thank you, thank everybody. You. Hello, David. Thank you, everybody. Um, my colleague said today we are going to look uh, one specific module from the TCP MDD, the surveying module that nowadays, <coughs> sorry, uh, uh, nowadays uh, is very useful to any surveyor like like me. I am a su su survey survey engineer and cartography geodetic engineer. Um, uh, we we can find. Uh, the different uh, way to calculate any kind, any kind of, of, of way to calculate uh, any data from like, like uh, from total station, theodolite, or something like that. Okay, this module is divided in two parts mainly: uh, the surveying and coordinate system. Surveying is focused. In, in calculate from device like a total station 
uh, or pseudolite, and we can use or we can calculate uh, traverses, a uh, network, or even reception, reverse bisection, direct intersection, reverse intersection, trigonometric leveling, uh, etc. Et or maybe <clears throat> we can calculate, uh, we can make any kind of uh, transformation from the global system coordinate or local system coordinate and convert or transform uh, even uh, drawing or even files or something like that. Is is uh, I said before is a useful tools to uh, anyone like me to calculate anything in, in our work daily. Daily. So today I'm going to show one uh, basic example. Okay, this is a one example one one work that I did. Uh, 12 years ago, okay, so in the middle of the city center, okay, where we uh, where where there was a, a lot of a street with a big big uh, building and uh, in narrow street or bigger street uh, streets, <clears throat> and in this in this case we have to do we have to use a total station. To carry out our work. So in this in this work, I survey this area. Okay, I'm going to show, for example, the detail of this of this work. Okay, we we survey everything. Okay, the furniture furniture urban furniture and the strip, the pavement and everything here. Okay, so with this with these tools, I calculate uh, the difference along different traverses along the, the work, okay? This work is around uh, 40 hectare streets, so it's very bigger work. Um, now I'm going to cut a, one part of this work to show how work with the, these useful tools, okay? So I'm going to use to a new drawing, okay? In the face of all, I'm going to import the, the data. In this case, I'm going to use rain import data. Okay, import. Uh, now appear uh, show up uh, the, this window where we can select different format from different manufacturer. In this case, we are going to use Applitot format. Uh, is one format that we can find in text uh, ASCII file. Okay. So I'm going to use that, select that. We can use two uh, LKML, Leica, Tremble, etc. Okay. Now I'm going to select the file. This is the, 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 the original data. Okay. I'm going to have a look the, the this file because this is a active file by text file. I'm going to open. And now there is the, the data of this, the data that we measure from the field. Okay, so the first part we find the coordinate, the origin coordinate, where we we are going to begin to calculate. Okay, the second part it's all the measure or all the observation that we uh, carry out in the field. Okay, for example, this is the 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 station where we are measure. Uh, there the station that we measure or maybe the point that we observate in the field, okay? In, in, in this stage, we can find the horizontal and vertical reading from the total station. Very important things, the horizontal distance is, I'm going to remark that this format use the horizontal distance uh, uh, and not use the slope distance. It's very important things to remark. Uh, here there is the high, the the pole high or the road high, and the different cut that we are going to use to draw automatically each entity. Okay, and then we repeat the same format for each station. Okay, in this case the five, num the station number five. Okay, all the readings and the station number twelve, all the reading, the station and the point that we read in the field and it is it to repeat the same format, okay? So I'm going to 
I'm going to to click on OK and I'm going to load. OK. OK. And now this, the application is going to save all the calculation and all the operation that we made in that file. Traverses Madrid left. This station is very important because we save here all the calculation. OK. Save. We are going to replace another one. We can make a review, so a quick review here. The horizontal reading, the vertical reading, the, high, the horizontal distance that we are going to use. OK. Uh, here is the, the mainly window to calculate the, our works. OK. First of all, I'm going to explain how work this window because uh, maybe it seems uh, some difficult because we can do everything everything here, but it's very easy to work with this. Okay, when you understand, uh, obviously. Uh, the first part, we can list the the station that we are going to use that where we are going to to make any observation. Okay, for example, there are the six the station number six, the station number three. They are the first station that we know the coordinate. The, okay. They are the coordinate that I said before in the in the layer format, and then in this square we can check the observates observate stations. Okay, for example, from the station number six we read the station number three, the station number four, and the station number five, and even it said if you made a symbol a simple a, a reading. Or double ribbon, the reciproc uh, reading. Okay, and then we can show in this schedule the instrument setup, all the configuration for the station origin, the origin station. Okay, in this case we can check the instrument height and the horizontal correction to calculate the the bearing or to calculate the azimuth. Okay, we can uh, setting up. All the station at the same time when 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 we need to change something, okay, and we are going to see to check how change all the horizontal coordinate uh, correction to for each station, okay. Uh, the final result we can find here in the coordinate because at the end of the work we are going to calculate some coordinates. So in each stage. We calculate different coordinates from each station depending on the way we use. So we we can find each coordinate from each station or depend on the way that we are going to use. Okay. At the end, we can check a, a simple or a small resume of the of the difference between the coordinate calculated calculated coordinates. Okay. And this square. We can select the different way that we are going to use to calculate something. For example, we can calculate inverse bisection, uh, resection, or trigonometric leveling, depending on the the data that we have uh, in the in the in the in the window in the data that we have to allow us to calculate or not. Okay. At the end, we can draw everything, uh, draw the station or draw the final points, uh, etc. Okay, well, let's go to, to how to calculate with this, with this window. Uh, first of all, we are going to configure it to set up the, the parameter to calculate our, uh, our traverses. And this, in this part, we are going to define uh, this coordinate reference system. For example, we are going to use this reference coordinate set, ED50, and in UDM, uh, some 30 north, some 30 north, and we are going to use this correction, the sphericity and refraction, the reduction of two ellipsoids, and we are going to use combined scale factor, okay, to the to the projection. Okay, we can configure, it, for example, the the tolerance of the error. To in, in order to the application, <coughs> sorry, in order to application uh, advise us if there are some error or there are uh, 
it, it, there are some error or, or over the tolerance, some something. Okay. And now uh, we are going to check the, the first coordinate, for example, in coordinate, click on coordinate, list the actual, the current uh, coordinate that we, we are going to use. Okay, in this case, there are the station number six and three, and there are in, in, in flat, uh, in flat uh, projection. So we are going to change the factor of the projection. So select all and going to change to a projected uh, factor, okay? To use, to calculate the different distance along the calcul, okay? Now, uh, due to, we don't have, we don't know what is the, the schedule of the traverses, I'm going to, to calculate uh, quickly uh, the, by automatic way to, to, to show how, how to do it, okay? I know that the origin of the traverse is in the station number six. Okay, I'm going to click on origin. Okay, there these stations are fixed. When we compensate the traverses, we don't uh, move this coordinate. Okay, because they are the origin of the traverses. Okay, and we, if you realize when I activate origin, the this button it's activate too. For example. Okay, you can check the difference. Okay, if I click in origin, I can it's activated origin automatic because uh, the application detected that it's possible to to calculate now. So we are going to to click on automatic to calculate the traverse everything uh, automatically. So uh, only to say that the application is going to make any kind of calcul with the data that it, it's fine in the in the in the in the data no um calcul everything and then it uh, show so was the one table of results what it's calculate that it made okay for example uh, here appears the different residual and it, it's remark what it's highlight by asterisk uh, the the result that it's uh, are over uh, the tolerance that we set in configuration uh, in, uh, window. Okay, we are going to accept. Okay, it's possible to review some reading here in this in this station if we consider it are very high. Okay, but in this case we are going to accept. If you notice. Only to notice that in each station now we have a different result for each station. Okay, so these results are calculated by by automatically by our application. So now it's calculate the all the traverses. It's very easy. So I don't recommend this way uh, to do a uh, step by step, uh, station by station, to avoid some error or some a systematic error or alternative error, okay? So, uh, we are going to, to draw the station to understand the, the traverses, okay? Draw a station, okay? And here, here is all the station and the traverses that we, or the network that we uh, carry out. So, uh, how we can do it uh, manually? I prefer to do it manually. Uh, for example, uh, only to check the, the station number six, okay, is this, and the station number three is this, is uh, the, the, the first coordinate to calculate the, the orient. So we are going to change the horizontal correction to calculate manually. For example, instead setup, instrument setup, I'm going to edit the first correction. I'm going to delete the horizontal correction to calculate again. Okay, manually. Okay. 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 In this case, we don't have the correction, horizontal correction in the station number six. Okay. So we are going to calculate manually. 
if you check, this button is activated because the software detected if it's possible to calculate because uh, we have two coordinates in the station number three and the station number six, like before, and we can calculate the orientation, okay? So we select the station number, the origin of the station, the number six, and the observed station number three, and we click on orient to calculate the, orient, the horizontal correction. Orient, uh, here is the, the same horizontal correction, okay? This is the to calculate the azimuth for each observed uh, reading, okay? So then uh, we need to move along the, diff the, the travel for each station. For example, we are going to calculate the coordinate to the, to the station number five, for example. To origin, we select the station number six and we select the station number five. Notice that we have D. It means that we have a direct a measure and the reciproc measure. Okay. Okay. We are going to click on manual. Okay. And appear the windows, in, the information window where uh, it's a uh, so the forward distance and the high forward and the backward distance and the height difference okay at the, the difference between them okay in this case we can find two centimeters between the forward and backward uh, direction okay and the horizontal correction in this case is zero okay but we accept okay and automatically the software go to the station number five to con to go to the to calculate with the station number 12 okay in this case number 12 is the the next we can check manual and we click on okay to set to to get the same okay and repeat this step for each station by station for each way for everything along the all the the traverses it's very easy to calculate manually. I, I, I recommend to use manually than, than, than automatic, okay? So automatically, a uh, fast, fast way, and if, if there isn't any error, there isn't any problem, okay? It's, it's recommended too, okay? So uh, I said before that we can make um, some different calcul, okay? So some, there are some weights, in this case we are going to use for example we are going to select the station number seven okay station number seven and uh, if you realize is activate the different uh, ways of calculating for example reception okay if i select for example the eight it's not allowed but when i select seven is activated automatically because the software detected is possible to calculate one reception with the data that we have now okay so reception click on reception appears the wind the inverse intersection that we can make here in this in this in this window we can select two uh, we also select a different way for example we can select only use the angle only use the distance or to calculate in 2d or 3d or maybe we can play with different station we are going to use for example for example the four the four and sixteen and i'm going to to avoid the 14 for different uh, try we can try different possibility okay and here in this crater uh, we can find the the final result for each calcul okay if we change sorry if we change the difference selection the result is different okay here appears the error ellipse ellipse for its calcul and we select different 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 situation okay okay we are going to accept this this calcul and here as you can find we we can find another result another coordinate to the station number seven for the reception way okay we have different different result for this station if we calculate from the station number five or the station number 14 or the station number four or by 
intercept the reception. Okay, is there is very interesting uh, this way to calculate everything. Okay, uh, as I said before, we can find here the the difference between different results. Uh, this case, it appears a uh, distant error the 5.6 centimeter. Now, uh, everything is calculated. Now uh, it's rest. Uh, to compensate, for example, the, the coordinates, okay? Pues we are going to use, uh, only to say that, uh, the coordinate that the, the application is going to, to use is the coordinate that is activated, selected in this, in this window, in this part, okay? For example, in, this, in, in, the, in the station number six, we are going to use the direct assignment or the station number five, is going to use the coordinate from the station six, okay? Or maybe in the station number seven, okay? We are going to use the inverse interception, no? Okay, it's, it's, a, it's one solution, the primary solution to use to compensate the traverses, okay? We are going to compensate these traverses, okay? Or this network before. Traverses, click on traverses, and now, to compensate the traverses, we need to to arrange uh, the traverses, okay? To define the traverses, well, we are going to select graphically each station that composite each traverses, okay? In this case, the different station. I'm going to click on different station that composite the the traverses, okay? And here is. I'm going to say to the software that it's a closed traverses. Okay, it's very important. And for me, in my case, I like to save this configuration. Okay, I'm going to export this configuration. I'm going to save in this file, the file point poll, save. Okay, because I, I like to save that because sometimes we need to repeat uh, a lot on a lot of time, a lot of time, uh, uh, the compensation to check the difference between between different uh, weights, okay? So, in this case, I'm going to compensate the traverses. And uh, here is the window of compensation, okay? Uh, overall, we need to check the, the different uh, parameter, for example, the distant error at the end of the traverses, in this case, is 6.6 centimeter, and the long of the traverses, or the error, the angular error that we can find, or the the coordinate error that we can find in the in the traverses. Okay. It so the primary coordinate for each station and the horizontal correction that you use for to the to the compensation. Okay. We can select the weight of calculation, for example, the least square or maybe proportional distance or proportional increments, Crandall, etc. At even, we can fit in planimetric or altimetric or both of them uh, ways. So uh, we are going to compensate by this way, uh, this, this error, we are going to compensate only to click on compensate, the software calculate by 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 this way and show us the different residual that it's fine in the calcul okay but the software uh, advise us about its uh, passive the test square chi okay a statistical chest to allow us to know is a good way to to compensation the compensation is successful okay after that after us after after this, we can we can print the the resume of the calcul to include all, all the observation, all the coordinate compensate compensate calcul coordinate and everything to maybe to make a, to create a report or something like that. Okay, it's very useful to use that. Okay, it, it's everything. Okay, Go, I'm going to accept. I'm going to click on OK. Okay, click on OK to uh, at the end, we can check that we can find the final coordinate 
the, the compensate coordinate for the, these traverses. And everything is calculated too, okay? Compensate, okay? It's, it's a very, very useful and easy way. Uh, the same thing, if we want to, to, to compensate a network, okay? We can click on network, we can sell it in this case, uh, we can sell it uh, graphically each station that we want to include, or maybe we can use a automatic way. For example, automatic, okay? And select all the station and all the observation that we can use to calculate, okay? And we can use compensate is the same like, like uh, at the at the like the the other, the last one, okay? Uh, okay. Um, now we can check the final coordinate that we are use and the scale to of the projection that we use, okay, for each station, okay? Okay. And now we are going to draw the the, the final objective, no? The, the the to draw the points, okay? Well, we are going to draw the points. Uh, here is going calculating now. The application is calculating each coordinate for each point, uh, observate observate point, uh, and to show the list for each point uh, by point by point, okay? It lasts uh, some minutes because there are some calculus, different calculus. Okay, we need to wait some minutes. And then we are going to, to draw uh, automatically by, by code. It, we are going to represent it, to, to, uh, we are going to draw in all the entity, linear entity or point, uh, punctual entity by block uh, uh, using the, the code database. And uh, here is, here is the finish uh, point of drawing. Okay, we are going to draw all the point. Okay, and now we are going to say to the application how we are going to draw. Well, we are going to draw using the codes. We can select the code database here, only to say where is the, the code database file. In the case, okay, and we are going to use this scale, okay, to, to define the text high in, in, in our drawing. Okay, we are going to click on okay and start to draw all the points along the street in the survey that we carry out in, in, the, in the field. Okay, and here it is. Okay, we can check the draw, all the entity, the linear entity, like a building, facade, like a big line and everything. Okay, so only well, it's it's ready. Uh, everything is calculated. Uh, all the calculates are saved in the in the in the file left left file. To to if we need to to check or, or to edit something, we uh, load again. Okay, we are going to click on OK to pass to drawing uh, uh, steps. Okay, uh, like uh, I said before. There are the observation, the, our traverses, okay? And this is our draw, final draw, okay? Uh, we are going to list the point, point, list point, okay, all the point. And uh, here is the final coordinate, the codes that we used in the in the in the in the measure, and we can show the different attributes. For example, it, it each point. It's from total station, from the station number six, with the instrument high, with the reading, and the different height of the, the pole, or something like that. We can find everything, okay? And now, I said before that all the entity is very useful because all the, all the entity is drawing automatically. For example, we, not, we can find here the step lamp that we need to rotate directly okay because we need to sorry we are select only the strip line rotate okay we need to rotate the strip line to edit the drawing okay uh, only to say that uh, uh, we, we, we it's possible to to avoid that if you use we use a uh, two points or three points uh, in the last version of mdd uh, we include the possible the possibility of use two points to 
uh, locate and scale and rotate each block uh, depending on the position of the point that we are going to use. Okay. Uh, for that, I'm going to show the the code database. Okay. For example, points code code database. Okay. That it's this is the code database that I use where I specify or I define each block we are going to use depending of the code, okay? So we can define the code, the level where we are going to save each point or classify the point, the type of the point. For example, so if we use the point like a punctual or like a linear, like a line, okay? Point with only one point or, or two point or three point, I said, like I said, as I said before, the layer that where I'm going to draw in the drawing, the color, the thickness, or maybe the block or the kind of the linear that I am going to use. Okay, it's a, it is possible to edit any configuration, but it's not necessary to do it. Okay, cancel. Uh, I'm going to to show the difference if you use only one point or two points. For example, in this case, there are two points. I'm going to go to the vision control control vision. I'm going to show the code, and I'm going to hide the name and the height, apply, okay. In this case, the software draw the, the block uh, using the first point to locate the block and the second one to scale and to rotate the block, okay, and adjust. So if we use three points, here is the difference. The first one to locate the block, the second one to rotate the block and to scale the block in the x direction, and the third one is use it to calculate the the scale in the y direction. Okay, so if you look, there is fits in the exactly point. Okay, this is the one one example, and uh, here is another example, two point, and the third one to calculate the y direction. Okay, in this way, it's very useful because allow us to avoid to 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 rotate each block uh, block by block like like this okay uh, because it's very useful to reduce the time of drawing in the office okay uh, it's very useful uh, uh, um, um, is to demand for every hour or service and now we are going, for example, to edit some entity in, uh, of the drawing. For example, we are going to uh, in the line. I'm going to to create a displaced parallel because I forget to 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 take the top of the curves. For example, no. I'm going to create this command. I'm going to set only to create a polyline. I'm going to increment uh, 14 centimeter from the asphalt line. Okay. Going to OK, select the asphalt line. OK, I'm going to say the pointing at the direction here, 10 centimeter of the distance uh, here. And that is the, the 3D parallel to this, to this, to this uh, entity. OK, I'm going to repeat the same for this. OK, pointing at the direction, click on 10 centimeter. And here is. And now, for example, I'm going to reply. And here is. Sorry, I forget to to click on here. And here is the curves, the top of the curves from the from the asphalt and this brick line. Okay. So it's very easy for to use the different uh, the different tool that MDD offer us to work. Now, with this like uh, final works, I am going to, to create a surface for, to, to this, uh, to this uh, work, okay? So I'm going to use mainly, uh, first of all, I'm going to use that, those polyline to use like an island in the, in the middle of the building, okay? I'm going to copy. Okay, I'm going to change the layer. Okay, 
I'm going to change the layer and, and I'm going to copy in the Iceland layer. Okay, and now I'm going to move again on the original position. Sample, here, here. There is the facade of the building, okay? And now I'm going to create a surface. MDT, surface, create surface. I'm going to save in this file, okay? And here we can select what what we are going to use to triangulate. We are going to use the, all the points that are classified by levels depending on the of the code, okay, on the code database. And we are going to use the brick line uh, in the code database too. We can select the 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 different uh, polyline that are classified automatically by by code, okay. And now we are going to use the island. We're going to select the island that we have we we have already uh, drawn, okay. And now we don't have any boundary, but so we are going to use another criterion like this, the 25 meter to create a triangle, okay? I'm going to draw in 3D, okay? Uh, here is the triangulation. Now, uh, you check the island is not included, and now some, there are some error here in the boundary because there isn't any boundary defined, okay? So we are going to, to edit the surface, the lead line. It's easy like that, okay, like that, okay? We can de delete the the triangle that we are go we we don't use okay 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 I'm go I'm editing the the surface to calculate the to cal the to calculate the final the final boundary of the surface okay well, it's too easy to calculate that because MDT, break line, for example, find, find, find boundary. And here is the final boundary. We can repeat, it's, we need, we can repeat the, the great two surface and use that final boundary to, to triangulate. But in this case, it's not necessary. So now we can create a quick profile, for example, to check the work. And here is one profile of this of this representation, okay? And we can find the first strip, the second strip here. Here is a one square, a square. Uh, another strip here is here, okay? We can find the different curve of if we if we have a strong error or something like that, okay? We can define or or, or check the the different height uh, etc. Okay? Now we are going to Sorry, we are going to create a contour line, for example. Okay, I'm going to select the 10 centimeters for interval, and I'm going to labeling that. Okay, automatic way, and uh, here it is. But it's everything. This is our work finish. Okay, it's a, a, a easy way to to get the cartography or to get our the final work. The final result of our work. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now we are we are going to to review. Or we are going to look the coordinate system to how to work with this. Okay. For example, we can use a UDC, UDCD. Uh, we can define the different datums for uh, depend on the 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 we can define directly or maybe we can use the EPSG uh, data set to use them depending on the of the location no? of the of the area okay it's very easy to define our 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 datums or maybe use the the data set that I said okay we can define the different format to represent the the final result of everything, okay? This is the configuration of the UDC parameter, okay? In the same way, we can use, we can convert a different drawing or different file. In this case, I'm going to convert the our example to another another system coordinate. For example, 
convert Dragon, all the Dragon. I'm going to define the the, the current uh, system coordinate, the source coordinate reference system. So I'm going to change. This is the that I said before is ED50 UDM30, uh, and there is this is the actual the current system coordinate. And I'm going to transform or to convert in the in another uh, system coordinate. Pues I'm going to choose what is the this is the last the last coordinate, okay? The last coordinate that I, I want to change the the draw, okay? We can check the original the original system coordinate and the the target coordinate reference system, okay? I'm going to use to draw to convert everything, okay? I'm going to click on OK. And all the entity are converted, okay? And here it is. Here it is. It's converted here, okay? Uh, to check the 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 conversation, I'm going to draw from the from the surveying station calculation the station, okay? I'm going to draw again the the different traverses the traverses in the original system because are defined with the original system coordinate okay so i'm going to draw the station okay and they are the original station in the original system coordinate coordinate system okay here is and here is this is the difference between both of them a global coordinate okay now uh, we can use the same thing but with a uh, local coordinates okay imagine that we use a uh, we want to define uh, we get some project from the architect for example and normally they define or they drawing in local system coordinate in this case i'm going to use for example one project to do about one tent that we are going to install in this in this sorry in this area okay in this area we are going to install that tent okay so uh, the architect used this local system coordinate and we are going to calculate the parameter to to our local system our global system coordinate so in this case xref okay i'm going to attach the 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 file okay this is the same file of our project in the global system coordinate and now i'm going to calculate the difference between both uh, system coordinate uh, so i'm going to calculate for example i'm going to use the 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 middle of the the pillar to to match to make a matching between both of of system coordinate so MDD point convert drawing from object. Okay, I'm going to select the option of the block. This block. Okay, now I'm I'm going to create a, a one point for each pillar. Okay, I'm going to use the name of this layer. Okay, I'm going to select the layer. This layer. Okay, okay, and okay. And here is all the points are created uh, uh, from from each block okay now i'm going to save i'm going to save all the points in one file point export point okay all the point okay okay i'm going to set here in this in this file replace yes i'm going to replace and ah, here is this is the local the local system the local coordinate system and now I'm going sorry I'm going to the the global coordinate to calculate the different parameter for example MDD8 uh, coordinate system local system I'm going to create a new coordinate a new local coordinate transformation in this case to the to the transformation and this is the transformation that I'm going to use okay by points okay and ah, here is now i'm going to say where is the source file that is the file that i create 
right now, pilot project open, and um, that is the list of the point of the of each pillar. Now I'm going. We can use a target file, but we don't have it. So we are going to select graphically each uh, one by one. For example, we are going to use the pillar number one. I'm going to edit. And I'm going to select the match uh, graphically. The number one is here. Okay, this is the the pillar number one, and here is the pillar number one. The diff, the matching each win each each, uh, each point. Okay, and uh, now I'm going to repeat. For example, to the last point, edit. I'm going to edit. And the 48 pillar is this, sorry, is this. Okay, and uh, here is, here, okay, okay. And uh, here is the, so if we need to, if we can check that are all the parameter, in this case, we, we don't have any residual, we can check, for example, we are going to use the point number three, edit, I'm going to select uh, point number three, uh, 2023. 20, for example, 23 is here. 23 is here. But in this case, I'm I'm not going to use the the exactly point. I'm going to make uh, some wrong. Okay. For example, I'm going to click here. This is not the same. Okay. And now appears some residual depending of the bad position of the of our our point. 23 okay so we are going to to don't use we are going to don't use this point to calculate and we are going to save the transformation save as transformation local to global okay this is the direction of the transformation okay save okay transformation is created okay and we we don't have it we have it okay okay and now what we can do with this? Well, if we define something, our architects define something in this in this file, for example, okay, one circle here, one cir and one circle here, okay. We are going to, for example, here we are going to convert directly at the original transform drawing, okay. We are going to select the transformation. In fact, you realize we have the inverse transform rate. I said I calculate before, and we are going to select by layer. For example, I'm going to transform this element, this entity, to an, the new one uh, system coordinate. Okay, to con entity converted. Okay, some extension, and uh, here is our entity that I'm going to copy and go to Traverse and edit and paste to calculate and we have in the new in the new system one. And in the other way around, it's the same. So you can check, it's very easy to work with MDD and the module, the specific module, like a surveying uh, module, okay? For it, it's everything. Uh, I hope you enjoyed with my demonstration. I understand everything. Uh, David? Yes, Antonio, thank you very much. I'm gonna make myself presenter again and I will show you my screen. Okay, so to finish with this webinar, please remember that visiting our webpage, uh, you can download a demo version of the module that we have seen today at TCP MDT. You can find all the other uh, version of the software TCP MDT, okay? And when you go down, uh, you can find after uh, uh, checking some information here, you can download a dossier, a dossier request a quotation, or uh, a free get your free trial version uh, that will be worked during 30 days. Please remember uh, all our webinar have been also put in Applitop Academy in video library and you can find other softwares and review all uh, the webinars we have done uh, this last month of May and June. Uh, to finish, remember that 
if you need a coat, specific coat, as we got a lot of people asking for the price, we work exclusively through distributors. So in the locator, you can find uh, all the distributors uh, homologated uh, to give you a personal coat uh, for our software. But remember, this software is very low cost and uh, we are used to deal permanent licenses. So, as you see here, you can add your country and you will find, uh, you will find uh, uh, several distributors that are able to make a quote. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, we appreciate uh, uh, to have all of you and we hope to see you soon to other live demonstration or news. Thank you very much. Bye.